All right, Kenny, tell us about who we got coming up next, man. Oh, I really enjoy doing this, Eric. This is uh, one of my favorite folks in, in the business. Uh, it's Fred Gordy. He is an evangelist, a cybersecurity uh, spokesman. He has done more work, selfless work, to promote uh, cybersecurity in our industry than anybody I know. Uh, he's also introduced the concept of operational technology uh, versus you know IT versus OT versus IT. Uh, so, welcome to the show, uh, Fred Gordy, Director of Cybersecurity at Intelligent Buildings LLC. Uh, Fred, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, Fred. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the opportunity to come. Come on, Control Trends, uh, Control Talk again. It's been a little while. Missed you guys, but uh, thank you for having me. Oh, man, you're always welcome, Fred. Well, I tell you what, you know, Kenny and I have sort of dubbed. We really feel like we are at the beginning of what Freddie, uh, Kenny, I like to call the control trend and the controls, building automation controls, smart buildings, renaissance, and so many things going on. And of course, with any great new technology or anything getting ramped up, there's always problems that are created. Kenny and I have always loved your work. I mean, I, I think that, you know, you, you are, are we, we think you're the law, man, you know, the <laughs> long, long arm of the law and you're making our buildings safer. So first of all, tell us about the new company and what you're doing there. And then we got, we got questions for you. Good. Well, I'm excited about this. Uh, I got an opportunity to move over to Intelligent Buildings uh, with Tom and Rob, and, and those guys have embraced me, and they've embraced what, I, what I've been working on for the past five or six years. And also, <clears throat> the extracurricular activities like Control Trends and Control Talk, um, they're all on board with that. Uh, just a little quick thing about Intelligent Buildings. We serve as the customer advocate, if, and it, that's what I like to call it. But basically... Uh, it's at a higher level where you're working with systems across all systems and not specifically just any, any particular system type, plus uh, really genuinely putting smart buildings together and working with the FDD part of it, uh, analytics, so on and so forth. And it's afforded me the opportunity to get to know uh, some top Fortune 50 companies, and these guys are beginning to embrace the cybersecurity message, and that's encouraging, and it's allowing me to do more of that. No, it's really cool. Well, you know, we met Tom Shirtliff and uh, Rob Merchantson at many of the meetings, and 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 I'll give my take on these guys because I think they, you guys, serve an invaluable role in, as a customer advocate. What that really means to me is, in one of the first presentations I heard these guys make. Fred was they talked about the fact that you got to get everybody on the same page, if you, you know, and they got to get everybody aligned. And I think that's among, you know, one of the core uh, competencies you guys have, because without alignment, you're just not going to be able to, uh, to, to make things work no matter how good the system is. So those guys are great at that. And I tell you what, dude, you know, we've known you through a couple of re reiterations. Uh, you know, we, we started off with a kinder general or Fred Gordy. It was a little bit like we got this issue out there and, and you know, you're trying to get people's attention. It's a little bit like, you know, you're sort of pointing a little bit and maybe maybe putting a little bit of warm water on the face trying to wake them up. But uh, I understand that you've sort of begun an, an edict that forget the warm water, Ken. Uh, forget the warm warm water, Fred. Get out the bucket of water. So the cold water, Cold right? water, splashing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing about it is, is everybody, I, I believe this sincerely, everybody realizes we have a problem. Um, and I'm all about analogies. And sometimes it comes across, uh, you know, just uh, I, try, I like to try to put it in, in terms that people understand. And I don't know how else to say it. But, you know, when we hear something on the news about, uh, say, something bad happens in another neighborhood. It's robbery, it's a murder, that kind of thing. We always think that's sad and we want to watch, you know, watch our homes. But then we also think, well, that was in another neighborhood. That's kind of the mentality with the cybersecurity thing is everybody knows it's a problem and they really don't want it to happen to them. But they feel like, I think sometimes what they do is they look at it like, well, why would anybody want to attack me? Well, <clears throat> another thing that came to, as I've been going through this journey, it's, it's a, you may not be that big company, but you may be a third party vendor to a big company or, or a third party vendor to a company that supplies a big company. And the bad guys are just looking for any avenue to get in. Now you may not, they may not do anything to you, but if, you know, hate to pick on the guys, but if we take Fazio, 
they use Fazio to get to Target. <clears throat> so it's time for us to, this is my approach now, is I'm, as part of my role with Intelligent Buildings, but also just what I do is uh, I'm using more and more tools to continually see how bad off we are. And <clears throat> it's not getting better, it's getting worse. I'm seeing, I'm able to see more now than I used to with the tools that I use. And so, yeah, my approach is going to be a little more aggressive now. Well, that's, that's really cool, Fred. Well, listen, uh, you know, off air, you mentioned the C word mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, Chinese. And, and so look, mm -hmm. can you show us a couple of these tools and maybe a couple of things that you guys, that you got going on? Absolutely. All right, let's take a look. All right. So in this effort of, uh, searching for things. Uh, yeah, you guys have all heard me talk about Shodan, and Shodan is still a very viable tool. I use it. Uh, you can find a lot of things. But what I've found is there is a couple of other tools. The one you see here, I'll get to in just a moment, but there's another one called Census. And I'm going to have all this on Control Trends, so if people want to look at it in a little more in detail, I'll show them. But while I was doing this, <clears throat> I have to give credit to my buddy Mark Peacock, he asked me, sent me an email one day and said, have you ever heard of Zuma? And uh, I, I hadn't. So I started doing a little research and I found them. And I also found out <laughs> that their origin is Chinese. Well, we've all heard the stories about, you know, the Chinese government denies they're doing anything, but then we all see these things where it looks like things are originating from China. Excuse me. So I started using it as a tool as well, because if they're searching us, they're probably finding more things than what even Shodan and Census are finding. And my suspicions were true. Um, for instance, not to pick on Niagara, but if you do a Shodan search for Niagara stuff, you'll see anywhere from 18,000 to 20,000 devices in the United States. When you do it on Zuma, you find 42,000 to 48,000. So what are they doing? I don't know, but they're finding more. So in my quest to, to find sites and, and, and let people know that they're being exposed, um, I found this site that you're looking at on the screen. Notice uh, they have a nice little handy and I pointed out, it says link to login page. You click that button, it'll take you right to the login page. I've got it redacted or covered up, but there, that is a government defense contractor's web supervisor. Oh my gosh. And That's they scary. Make, yes. And they make, let's just say warfare devices. Okay. Now also, you know, Tritium has done a good job about trying to beef up their security and they have, but if you look there, it says, uh, I've got it highlighted 3.5.41. Well, we, I hope all of us remember that that was the last of the very insecure versions of Niagara. So, um, they, you know, so not only is it an exposed government def defense contractor, but they're running a known vulnerable uh, version. Now, this next page, I wanted to go back and see what Census had. And as I mentioned before, Census uh, is another tool that I use. So I put that IP address in, <clears throat> and Census had some good information about it. But if you'll notice right under the Niagara Tritium Fox, it says, has contractor info. What I mean by that is the station name is actually the, the defense contractor's name. All right, so I decided to see what else Census had on it. Down near the bottom under there where you see Get View Page. Now, this is going to be a little shocking to you. This is what it yielded. And I couldn't get all of these screens on one, one uh, page. This is, uh, I know it looks like an eye chart, so I pointed out some things here. There's the server name, what operating system it's running. It's also got the RSA, that's the, uh, if you're familiar with that, that's a security algorithm uh, that people use, and it has it there, has the host ID, but it also has the internal IP addresses of this system. And interestingly enough, it even lists who set up their wireless network, the vendor, and it gives the name and the email address of the guy that did it. 
Yeah, so, you know, it, it, the Chinese are hunting for stuff now actively. And real quick, just some uh, other things that I found, if you want to take a look at this real quick. All right, this is a data center that I found. And we've all heard the term backdoor. Backdoor basically means there's a common username and password that everybody knows. Uh, now this doesn't have anything to do with the defense contractor. This is just some other things that I found. Is uh, There's a, a Libra Challenger, which we know is a crack unit. And I tr wanted to see if Liebert, Liebert was still active, and it was. And then once I did that, now I can edit the, uh, the uh, set points inside the crack. And if I want to, I could run them up high enough. And because the temperature climb in a data center can cause servers to shut down, I could just by changing set points, shut a, shut a uh, data center down. Now, another, thing, another thing that I found is <clears throat> there's a protocol called remote desktop. And what that does is that allows you to remote into a machine. Well, a server I found had remote desktop enabled. And I didn't do this. It was actually posted on, uh, on Census, a screen capture of their remote desktop and I covered up three of the names that you see there because those are very descriptive names. Now, why does that matter? Well, if we've ever heard the term phishing or spear phishing, that means if I know somebody, spear phishing especially because it's a directed email, if I know your name and what company you work for, I can play around with some email addresses and send you an email that seems like it should be for you. And if you could click a link, now I'm inside your system. Yep. So anyway, that's just a few things. And I'll, wow. I'll go in detail on control trends. Well, Fred, that is, that is, that is something else. And I tell you what, we will definitely uh, uh, post that on control trends. That's great stuff, Fred. Very, very alarming. Um, and like I said, it, it, you know, it doesn't seem like uh, the quote unquote black hats are, 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 are slowing down at all, are they? No, not really. So, so, and, how, so how can how can you help? How how do you guys help? Talk, talk about how in, intelligent buildings helps. So, what we do is, um, like, if with the customer, we got a couple of things. We've got a, what's called a uh, threat scorecard, and it's a it's a quick snapshot, of, and we'll do a quick assessment, and it'll just it's a very high level. Uh, it's not going to drill down into all the things that you need to do, but it's a kind of a temperature read, real quick. It says. You, you take a look at it. We go through it with you really quick. And then you'll make a, you know, it'll be eye-opening to you because it'll show you the, the deficiencies you have. Now, at that point, you can elect to do the things you, yourself. Or if you want to take it to a much deeper level, then we step to that next level and we begin to map out how your network is set up, review things with your, if you haven't engaged with your IT department, we help you engage in your IT department. And then we set up a strategy for you that uh, puts up the iron curtain, so to speak. Well, no, I just, I can see why we, uh, why Control Trends Awards uh, gave Fred Gordy and Mark Petock the Cybersecurity Award last year. Because, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm taking notes again. I, the, the things that you're saying, Fred, here are scaring me that, that we don't have a handle on it. And that the bad guys are getting a, a greater lead, and we can't catch them. But this apathy that's still so prevalent, I think you need to yeah. use your cold water treatment, and it should go to the uh, you know we should get we should have uh, more focus on this con on control trends, Eric. I mean, I think that uh, you know our trends for 2016 cybersecurity is going to come right up again and be the number one trend because now uh, you're seeing there's more tools to expose more sites. And mm -hmm. Niagara is getting picked on, and yet we have and we're going to a Niagara meeting. We need to infuse these people with fear. That they're, but, they're getting and, and, and one thing too is you know when all of this first started there was a, there was some you know things being slung around bad words whatever you want to call it but let's take a step back something that even if you're not an integrator you would realize is remember the years ago uh, when there was Windows and Mac and there was all of the uh, the Mac people which I have a Mac I've got Windows machines as well but they would the Mac guys were saying, all the stuff about Windows is vulnerable, so on and so forth. The reality is, is Windows had the largest share of market. So who are the bad guys going to go after? They're going to go after Windows. Well, <clears throat> I even use this term when I'm describing what is Niagara. Niagara is kind of like the Windows of uh, integration. 
they have a pretty large footprint. Whether it be Tritium, Schneider, or whoever the case may be, there are Niagara systems out there. Honeywell has them, uh, Johnson has them, so on and so forth. So who are they going to go after? They're going to go after Niagara because that's the most prevalent. Makes a lot of uh, sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Fred, let me ask you a question. Is it possible, you know, we do live streams from uh, uh, Stromquist and company all the time. We would love to get you on. And if our control trends community is interested in this, please reach out in comments. We'd love to have you come on, maybe do like a hour, hour and a half lunch and learn where people can interact with you via, um, you know, uh, the, our live streaming software. W was that something you might be willing to do? I'd love to do that. That would be awesome. Yes. Awesome. And I, and I can show them some stuff in real time, how things are found and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Fred, I, I just want to review, too, that you've already given us so much information. If, if uh, any of our Control Trends viewers and listeners are, are able to get the Control Trends and they, and they Google Fred Gordy up in the, on the toolbar, up, you know, the search toolbar, uh, you have given us seminal documents. Uh, you know, are you ready to react or preact? Uh, you know, when you talk about checklists, you gave us a checklist that's extraordinarily uh, focused on our end of the business stick, you know, the operational technology. Uh, and, you know, and that's the stuff that turns off and on versus, you know, databases that have, you know, customer information and, and files and, you know, financials and medical histories. We're talking about things like you just said that can turn off and on. You can take over a building and you can really create damage to it. It's time to get, it's time to react more like, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And, and you've said that you should already have your, your statements made, uh, you know, like uh, who to go to uh, if we do get right. hacked, this, this is what we're going to say. So, uh I just want to remind everybody that you, you're given this information, the supplemental documents are there, and you're going to continue to post more to it. So uh, what, what can we do to help get more uh, involved? You know, the thing is, is we still got some uh, maturity in the product lines and things. I will say that, you know, Link Springs has CyberPro, and that's, that's proven to be a good, good, uh, app, uh, good piece of uh, hardware to use. However, I, I mean, I don't know how to say it any any plainer the reality is is you've got to take stock of yourself your company your people and make your people nah, excuse me let's don't use that term help your people learn that they are as much a part of it as the it guys are because the the, the hole is going to come through a person more times than not i mean you can put the walls up the firewalls you can put everything in place uh you can have passwords that are 128 characters long but if somebody is negligent and leaves that information around um then all of that stuff goes out the window nothing you can do with your it so it's it's people first but then also almost parallel uh the survey that we do there's some questions that the answer <clears throat> excuse me it's multiple choice and the answer is i don't know well, to me, that's the worst answer you can give. If you say, I don't have a firewall in place, or do you have a firewall in place? And you say yes, or you say no. Well, no is not good. But if you say, I don't know, then what that tells me is you have no idea how your system's configured. You got to know that. You got to know how to defeat. You got to know what your borders are so you can know how to defend them. Well said, Fred. Right, well, yeah. listen, buddy. We are going to have to hop off here for now, but thank you so much. Can we get you back on the show? We'd love to have you come on at least once a month. Keep us updated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate you. the opportunity. You bet. Our guest, Fred Gordy from IntelligentBuildings.com. Check them out. Fred, thanks again, buddy.